Hello everyone and welcome to Truly Treacherous with me, Alex. Today I'm going to be building a city in the wonderful world of City Skylines. I'm using a bit of DLC, so I'm using the After Dark, Deco Buildings, High Tech, and Mass Transit, which came out a couple of weeks ago, I believe. So I've, I'm not going to use any of these because I didn't fancy playing around with sport, I didn't fancy natural disasters, I didn't quite fancy a meteorite just coming down out of the sky and destroying all my hard work, although it did look pretty cool. So I'm going to jump in and start a new game using the Seven Lakes map, which is new for the new DLC Mass Transit. So I'm going to call the city Anaku, and I'm going to have left-hand traffic because I live in the UK, we're weird over here, we like to drive on the left. Uh, whereas the rest of the world likes to drive on the right. So I'm going to jump in to this and start. Hydro power plants, the difference in production. Hydro power plants, blah, blah, blah. I don't really need to worry about that because this is. I don't have a river. I don't have any. I don't have any flowing water. I have seven lakes. That is what the map is called. If I had a river, that might be a bit more helpful, but it's not. Okay, so I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to close that down and see what I've got. So I've got a highway there or motorway, whatever. I have, I think I've got a train track over there, uh, which I'll get a bit later, I assume, uh, when I start expanding. So let's have the residential over there. Let's build road perpendicular. Go away. And we'll have another road here perpendicular to the highway. And we'll pop that there. And I'm thinking I'm going to make this uh, a bit of a green city. So I'm going to have some wind turbines. So I have one there, and I have... Oh, I can't have one over there because it's out of bounds of the city. I'm going to have... Well, I should probably put down the water pump where I'm going to put that there. I have one over here to power that. And the residential area over there. So, okay. Let's put the sewage there. And then from that I can put some pipes which will go through here here and here okay and then I want some way of getting on to the residential area and the industrial area so let's build a roundabout because apparently they help the flow of traffic let's just pop that there I think the I think the only reason why they help the flow of traffic in this game is because you have some of the roads produce traffic lights and traffic lights cause traffic to be well stationary for a time and that's in, in essence what causes the high volume of traffic so what we've got we've got a six lane road i don't really need a six lane road let's have a two-way road going on to the roundabout and a two-way road coming off the roundabout as well so we haven't got any traffic lights that's good very good and we'll have a road going up there to lead into that. That's quite a sharp bend, actually, isn't it? Crikey. Uh, that's fine. It's fine. I'll leave that alone. And um, we'll just make the road a bit longer here. That way I don't have to worry too much about things. And, well, I guess we can have an intersection here to start with. And we'll have one there as well. This is probably not very efficient, but I can always destroy it a bit later if it turns out that it's going to bite me in the bum. So, yes, anyway, let's do that. And we can have some way of getting onto the industrial area, or the industrial estate rather. So we've got that. Good. And then we have some electricity to power it. Uh, we'll have another road down here so we can connect our electricity up a bit more easily. So, if I were to build a road there. That's the only thing, actually. I didn't think that through, did I? If I do it on that side, then I'll just have... Actually, if I just have one coming down here... Yeah. That way I can just have a load of buildings on that side. And I can have some buildings there. I don't need to worry about that too much. Because that's now in that area. So if I build some residential there and there... I'll have a bit of commercial over... Okay, that's quite a lot of commercial. Let's have a bit of commercial over here. And we'll have a bit more residential there and there. I will probably need to upgrade that road, but for now that seems alright, because we've got traffic lights there. 
Um, I could have a six lane. I'll do a bit of experimental with six, experimenting with six lanes a bit later. I need to remember how they work. I th think they are going to produce traffic lights though, which is something I don't really want to do because I am thinking about congestion quite early on at the moment. I, I don't know why I'm thinking about congestion because what I'm probably going to do a bit later, I'm going to re remove all the roads and try and replace a lot of them with monorails, but um, we'll, we'll see how that works. Okay, I think I can unpause now and let the people into the city. Uh, we'll build another one of them there, and we'll uh, we'll decrease the water budget because we don't need so much in the water budget, and we'll increase the electricity budget because we probably don't have that much electricity at the moment. Yeah, we're producing eight megawatts, as you can see, which isn't particularly great. I think these are only producing two, so we're going to need a bit more over here. Uh, wind turbines are noisy, actually, aren't they? That's the only thing. If I have a look at the noise pollution, is that now going to tell me that that's wind? Okay, I can't actually even have a look at the noise pollution because it's not there yet. Okay, so we have a bit of electricity being built there. Being built, being generated. Electricity can get built. That is making water, right? Yes, it is. Okay. It's just not coloured for some reason. It's just not coloured in. It's just grey. That's fine. So, that's all nice. Traffic routes. What have we got? Toggle traffic lights. What's that do? Adjust roads. Road selected. Okay. Ooh, hello. What's that do? I can toggle traffic routes for you. Okay. No, I don't need to worry about that. Okay. Ashland Street in Anaku. That's quite cool. So it's just saying that traffic coming down here will do that. We'll do the following. Excellent. Uh, how do I turn that off? Like that. Are we getting anyone yet? We have some buildings over here, but no one seems to be moving in. Tyler Jones Street and Ashton Street. So, yes, okay, so that's also done that. And we'll see, see what this says about traffic so far. It's a traffic flow of 93%, so... It's 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 all right. <laughs> It'll do. It'll do, donkey. I I mean I can live with a traffic flow of 93%. I suspect the reason why we've got such low traffic flow is because of this sort of area here. It sort of funnels into a uh, two-way road. So maybe I should change that to a six-way. Sort that out. It's a right mess. Six-way. Six-way going to be any good? No, it's not really, is it? It's not going to be any good at all. Um, well, we'll pop it down anyway. Because yeah, otherwise we're going to get unutilised lanes. Yeah, we've got an unutilised lane there, you see. Um, let's put that back to two lane. I, I know I'm going to get some form of bottleneck situation, but... I'll live with it, I think. I'll, I think I'll just live with it. Here we have a... F let's just go down to 40, okay. Um, that seems alright. It's a bit foggy over here. How are we doing with our zones over here? So we've got a bit of uh, commercial over here. Um, we don't need any more residential apparently for now. We do need a bit more industrial. And apparently industrial isn't receiving enough water. So just build a pipe there. And there. And there. And we now have people coming into the city um, and using this roundabout, which seems to be coping all right, I guess. For now. <laughs> uh, hmm. Perhaps I should have that as a one-way input street. Or road, rather. 
a nice sort of alpine feel to it with all these trees which I will soon demolish and uh, build buildings of people's houses and other things there how are we doing for population which population 380 okay so I'm just gonna speed this up a bit see if that does anything so we need a bit more um, residential so let's uh, pop that over there and we'll pop some down here as well just for good measure They don't want it yet, but they'll uh, they'll eventually move when the demand gets a bit higher. People seem all right. How's the happiness then? So, residential happiness is thirty four percent. Why is that so low? Electricity apparently. Okay. I can't rotate wind turbines. It's probably got something to do with the noise. Alright, there we go. Hamlet. So now we get a bit more money. And... Excellent. Get a bit more money. And excellent, yes. What, what, what a great way of putting it, Alex. Uh, how's this doing over here, then? Does that seem to be doing alright? How's our industrial area doing? They need workers. Alicia. Uh, we can now build a school, but I'm going to build uh, a rubbish bin, a rubbish tip, because uh, they need, from experience, they will start producing a lot of rubbish quite quickly. So it's best to get that down straight away. Okay, what else? We just zone a bit more of this to residential. Uh, we'll get a bit more commercial over here, and we'll brush a bit more residential there should probably have a bit more commercial there to be honest that will be a higher volume road I've got quite a lot of money actually I don't know how I've managed that I seem to have got quite good I have, yeah because I have a DLC I, I think this is part of it so I have a I can get a medical laboratory and a Cairo preservatory <laughs> a Cairo preservatory. Uh, yes, whatever, whatever it is, whatever the blooming egg that is. I'm. I assume it's something to do with preserving um, the bodies of deceased people. Um, but I'll just pop a school there as well, because everyone likes education. I know that's probably not the best thing to start doing early on in the game, but. Uh, it's, it's something that I always always make sure I try and do or try to do. I could relocate that actually because can I rotate that? No? Okay, it's just gonna what, Why are people upset? I've just I've just put the school in exactly the same place. Um, that's fine Okay, so we have that people can go to school now How is our traffic doing awful it is doing absolutely awful We need more than one input road, obviously. Uh, let's have a input and output. So we'll have this road here, uh, and we'll have that could be connected to that. And that's not very good because that's making a bit of a fuss. Okay. Let's just build it all the way up to there and then I'll wait for a bit more money to come in. Not doing particularly great for money here. What's going on? Taxes. Let's raise the tax for corporation and commercial to 12%. Just give you a bit more money. Cool. So far we have a nice little residence here which has no water, apparently. So we'll just connect them up to the water grid. I don't have enough money to connect them to the water grid. That's that's pretty good. 
I am sure. How is our lake doing over here? Our, our lake of polluted water. It's it's looking very nice. This this lake of polluted water. I am so glad my eco city is looking very eco. <laughs> he says. Uh, so what what else did we actually have in the way of sewage deposit? Ah, uh, we can use a water treatment plant. We can't get that until a bit later. Is a water treatment plant for sewage? Oh, if you don't want to pump raw sewage into bodies of water, you can build a water treatment plant that reduces the environmental impact of the... purifies 85% of the pollution in the sewage. So I could... In, in the future, this won't be so bad, the pollution in this lake. I don't think. He says, how's our... So that's obviously really noisy over there. That's a bit more noisy than I would like for a residential area. What are these? These are the, these are making noise for some reason. These um, buildings. I mean, to be honest, that's not so bad. Our pollution, yeah, it's just over here. So that's that's pretty good. That's 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 really good. It's a very clean start. And I don't have enough power. This is this is this is probably the, the stupidest thing I've ever done. Why did I just use wind turbines? Because these are only producing two mil oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Yes. Okay. Um that was a mistake. I need a bit more population then. What's with the... Uh, what can I do to... I can't do anything there. I need a bit more population. Let's speed on through then, see if this produces a bit more population for me. There we go. Worthy village. So we now have created a village, and we can pump a bit of water into there, and into there, and now we should be able to take advantage of... No, we can't. <laughs> oh, ignore I said that. I did not say that. Cool. So we now... Mm, okay, we want a bit more power. So I'm just going to build another one of these. I am seriously thinking by this point it would have been cheaper just to build a load of coal. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to do this to sort of increase the amount of budget I would have but to be honest I spent a lot more money on wind turbines than I think I needed to so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine so I have nine wind turbines each of these costs five thousand six thousand six thousand dollars or whatever the heck that is it's that six thousand times by that's fifty four thousand that's 19,000. Probably a lot cheaper. Yes. Okay, fine. Things I do to like keep my population happy. Set districts. Um, I think I'm alright. I will leave districts alone for now. So I'm going to round this episode off here. I think I made a, a nice start. There's, it's, it's certainly not a perfect start, to be honest. I mean, this roundabout is going to need a bit of work. And this area here, this district here, is going to need a bit of work. And I might start calling districts. I'll leave that alone. I don't care about the seagull, the sparrow. Go away. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this, leave a comment, subscribe, and give us a like. And I'll see you next time when we'll be building more of Anuku. Ta-ra!